Hey, Billy Nitro. Here we are, guys, back with another episode. Yep, you read the title. You see what we're going to do today? I'm going to show you guys a little trick with this right here. What is this? Yep, Norinco Top 56 SKS. Oh, she is a little beauty. This is a 24 million gun. This is last year of production. A little sweetie, and I don't think it's ever been fired, so we will be handling that very soon. Anyways, you read the title here. I'm going to show you guys how to properly use stripper clip. For stripper clips. I see a lot of people struggling on on this thing called YouTube of they always want to cr crunch down the crunch down your ammo I'm gonna show you a little trick to loading your SKS or other other rifles that use the straight stripper clips first make sure you got an unloaded weapon or rifle as I call it so here we go we're gonna tilt the camera down a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys a little trick here I think I've seen one video that actually shows how to do this. There could be others, but you know, I've seen one. So we take our stripper clips here, and these are, these are, uh, this is a Russian right here. This is a Russian stripper clip. I've got some Chinese down here. The Stamp 211 stripper clips there. These are not the old cheapos like these. These are with the Circle 31. I believe these are made by NC Star. Don't quote me on that, but these are these are junk. So, anyways, this is a Russian right here. So, you're gonna load your clip right in there like that. Now, you see, most people they want to just struggle down and put all that pressure. Getting it to go down in there. It's hard to do this on camera, but it's still hard to load in there there we go you see I had to struggle there some are a little more than others with the struggling those are Russian stripper clips so they usually work pretty good now I'm gonna empty those out now I'm gonna show you the little trick Load in there as normal. Now, lift up on your top round. Take your finger, lift up on the, the bullet part, and push down. And there like so. That really helps out with, with the loading. We'll do that one more time. You see, I didn't didn't struggle at all to load that in there. Another Chinese 211. Load in. Have a rifle here. This is hard to do on camera. Pull up on a round. Push down on the back of it. Blingo. That's how she goes right there. That's how you do it. We'll let you guys check out this rifle too. So yeah, that's how you, I tell you, that's the secret to loading your uh, SKS stripper clips. Anyways, this is a, uh, that does work. It helps out with the uh, loading your, uh, your AR-15 stripper clips. Helps out loading those two, I've tried that. Those are, those are always been kind of tough, the ones I've used, but it does help, so. Anyways, here we go. Or here's the little ammo packages I scored on eBay. Ten, uh, ten Chinese stripper clips. The Stamp 211 come with this little stripper clip case. I'm not sure this is actually for uh, SKS. Holds four on eight, four stripper clips on each side. Dated 1982. Not sure what country that writing is. Maybe you can help us out. Got 
got a second one here. Scored these on eBay, 15 bucks a piece. 10 stripper clips and this little, this little uh, pouch here. That one's stamped in 1982 as well. Anyways, I wanted to show you the show you the sling that I scored too off of eBay. These are hard to find. It's the one with the spring the spring attachment instead of the leather. This is uh, they kind of refer to this as a quick detach. It's not really that quick, but it's also uh, keep your uh, sling attachments from rotting in the jungle. Your leather tabs your leather uh, sling attachments they would rust or not rust but um, rot in the jungle so they come up with these little nifty spring attachments here these slings are kind of hard to find this is a Vietnam era and uh, I scored a, they had a deal I it shipped from China so it, Shipped from the from the source, and uh, it was nine dollars nine dollars and change for two two slings. So I have two of these. I'll let you check out. Here's the there's the ends. So these are like I said, they're hard to find. It I look for. I was just kind of looking over about a year to find these. They just popped up on eBay. When I first got my, my other SKS, that other one I have, I was looking everywhere for one of these slings. Couldn't find them. And a couple months ago, there they were, just popped up on eBay. Imagine that. Anyways, I wanted to show you guys, and this is the first look. Uh, this is the SKS that had the optic on it. This is the Norinco that I had that had that stupid optic on it. I found a receiver for the top of it non-serialized too no serial number that's going to wrap it up guys just wanted to show you that little secret russian trick with the uh, stripper clips hope you guys are having a great day and uh hillbilly is over and out of here guys we'll catch you on the next one peace